Well, student, today we learn mathematics part two, standard ten, tenth math, coordinate geometry, problem number eleven, problem set five, eleventh problem. Okay. Okay, method one, distance formula method. Try to check it in tenth math practice set five point one part two video method two slope method okay that we will use it here now okay okay here is slope method calculate slope of PQ okay so P So y two and okay, slope of S. This is the formula. This is the point. We'll apply it. Okay. Marathon So this time this is matching, okay. Now let us find first slope of SP. Okay, for SP, we can write it. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Subtract this. Minus 2, minus up, minus 1. 1, minus up, minus 1. That will become minus 2 plus 5 upon 2. That is 3 by 2. Therefore, slope of Okay, now we calculated for this. We calculate for this. Okay, that is the point. We subtracted. So that is going to 2 plus 1 upon 2. So that is 3 by 2. So slope RQ is equal to 3 by 2. And the slope of SP. Okay. So they are equal. Slope of SR, therefore PQ parallel to SR. PQ parallel. Now let's take that slope. Slope of SP. Therefore. Okay, I hope you got that very easy. Next we do twelfth problem. The twelfth problem, we have to show it is a rectangle. Okay. 
opposite sides are equal, diagonal also equal, okay, by using distance formula. First, let us calculate P Q, okay. That is the formula, x2 minus d. Minus 3 the whole square, 3 the whole square. So that will become 9, it will become 4, so that will become root 13. Okay. Now let us calculate for SI. Okay. Formula is correct. That minus three minus five the whole square. Okay, so that will become minus five plus two. It will become minus three plus five. That will become minus sorry square. Okay, minus three the whole square, and it will become two the whole square. Nine plus four. So that is root 3. So that's how it is equal to 30. I calculate for SP. Subtract this. Okay. So that will become 2 minus of 2. The whole square. So that will become 2 plus 2, 1 plus 5. That will calculate that side. Okay. Okay, we add that. Now uh, we have done for SP. Let us calculate for RQ. Let's calculate for RQ. So that will become minus one, minus of minus five, the whole square plus three minus of minus three, the whole square. So that will become minus one plus five, the whole square plus three plus three, the whole square. That will become 4 square plus 6 square. That is equal to 16 plus 36. So that is equal to root 52. This coming same, okay. So RQ is equal to root 52. Now let us calculate for diagonals, okay. Diagonal, okay. Okay, so diagonal SQ. So that will become under root
So now let's calculate for PR, diagonal PR, okay. Okay. Same formula, okay. Formula is same. Minus five, minus two, goes square. Plus minus three, minus one, goes square. That will become minus seven, goes square. Plus minus four, goes square. Forty nine plus fifteen added So coming same. So opposite sides are equal, okay. Okay, it is a rectangle. Only this much you have to write. I hope you got this. Next one. Okay, last you write this. Okay. Opposite side equal, diagonal equal, PQRS is a rectangle. That's all you have to tell. Okay, next one is 13th problem.